Are you about to press publish on your next Google Ads campaign? Well, if that's you, I want you to stop right now because there are some very important questions that you first need to ask yourself. And these important questions are, why are you spending money on Google Ads? What is the purpose of this campaign or the campaigns you're about to start? And then finally, what does success with Google Ads look like for you? Now, the reason for why these questions are so important is because many people just go ahead and quickly start Google Ads campaigns without giving any real thought at all to those really, really important questions about what we just asked about, you know, why are you even starting Google Ads? Without even looking at what the purpose of those campaigns are and, you know, what you're hoping to achieve in exchange for paying Google money to advertise on its platform. And then finally, really drilling down to see what does success actually look like for you? Because this can be very, very different things for different businesses or different types of clients that you're managing Google Ads for. So in this video, I wanna break down these three very, very important questions so that you can start seeing more success with your Google Ads campaigns right now and in 2023. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. So right now, let's get into the first of those questions. And the first important question that you need to ask yourself is, why are you spending money on Google Ads? And the answer cannot be because your competitors are or because everyone else is doing it. And this one is probably the most important question. And before I start any campaign for any of my own businesses or start planning out Google Ads campaigns for any of my clients, I always ask this question. And the reason for why I ask this question about why they want to spend money on Google Ads is because I wanna know the purpose and the reason for why they are starting a Google Ads campaign. And one thing that I really do need to stress because if I get a response of my business is dying and I just need Google Ads to change things, I tread with very, very big caution. And the reason for that is because Google Ads is what we generally call a magnifier. And what I mean by that is that it will magnify the current results that you are seeing in your own business. Let me explain that further. If you've got a new business or you're looking at taking on Google Ads for a client and their sales are bad on all different platforms. So they've got a really low conversion rate, they're, none of their strategies are working, so their direct sales, their email sales, their social media sales, nothing is working. By just turning on Google Ads, that is not gonna solve their problems. The reality is, is that that business probably has much deeper problems that Google Ads is not gonna solve. And that could be their pricing, it could be the quality of their product or the quality of their service. It could even be larger factors around their website and the messaging of their website. And the big thing that I do wanna stress is that just turning on Google Ads and spending money on Google is not going to solve those problems. As I said, remember, Google Ads will generally magnify what you're currently seeing in your business. So remember, if your business is currently failing, throwing in extra money to a Google Ads budget is probably gonna make it fail faster because now you're also spending extra money on Google Ads. But if your business or the client's business that you're looking to take on for a Google Ads account is getting some sales, now those sales might only be like a small little trickle of sales and they want to grow those sales, that's where Google Ads can be your biggest asset. And the reason for that is because that business has already got past the initial stumbling box. They've got a product that they know that consumers want or a service that they know that consumers want and we know that it is priced at the right point. So now what we wanna do is we want to magnify that product, sending it out to new customers so that we can then grow and scale that business. So the first really, really important question that you need to ask when you look at spending money on Google Ads is that you wanna really break down what is the purpose for starting that Google Ads campaign. If it's a business recovery mission, it may not go so well. If it's all about taking your business to the next level or introducing your product to some new potential customers, that is where Google Ads can really, really shine. And the reason why I know that is because that's how I first got into Google Ads. I got into Google Ads growing my own business and that's why I'm so passionate about Google Ads because I've seen the difference that it has made not only in my own business, but also in my own life. And now that brings us to our second question, which is what is the purpose of this campaign. Now, before you go ahead and say that's exactly the same as the first question, what the difference is, is that when we're talking about the purpose of the Google Ads campaign, we're really getting down to the practicality of 
what are you wanting the user to do? So the people that are gonna be seeing your ads, what action are you wanting them to take? And the reason for why this question is so important about knowing what exact action you want the people who see your ad to take is because it then allows you to answer the following sub questions, which are things like, what type of campaigns you wanna use, what type of ad copy and images you'll use in your Google Ads, what are the audiences that you wanna target, what is the offer or the pricing that you're gonna be promoting for your products and services, and then finally, what type of landing page will you take them to? And then on that landing page, what is the specific conversion action? Are you asking them to give you a phone call? Do you want them to fill out a quote or a form request? Or do you want them to book in a service straight away on your website or buy a product straight away? So let's just look at some examples. So for example, if you're a service-based business and you're offering a service that has a high urgency in that the people who are inquiring about your service would generally want to book your service within a couple of hours or a couple of days. If that's the case, you would generally be looking at running a search-based call-only based campaign where you're dealing with people who have a very important or a highly urgent issue that they need solved. So you just want them to give you a call straight away. They don't wanna go through the process of filling out a form or doing an extended quote. They've got an urgent problem that they want solved straight away. Versus once again, if you're running a service-based business, which may have a product which may have a higher cost or it may not be as urgent. So yes, it could be important Important, but it doesn't need to be completed for potentially weeks or even months. And in that case, you may wanna use a collection of search and display campaigns so that you can then pick up the initial search inquiry and then also retarget them through display campaigns. Or you may wanna do a performance max campaign where you're introducing your product even before they complete the search, you then got search ads for those targeted searches and then you continue to remarket them through display and Gmail ads. For service-based business, Google ads is not a one size fits all. And if we were to switch over to an e-commerce business, let's just say that you are selling products that are in a niche which has a high volume of searches. For that, you may wanna do a collection of shopping and display campaigns or a performance max campaign. And the reason for that is because you know already there is a lot of search traffic for your particular type of product versus another e-commerce brand which may be introducing a product to the market. So this may be a product that has no search terms. So in that case, you would go down a discovery campaign or a video campaign where you're looking at introducing your type of products to new audiences. You could then follow that up with a Performance Max campaign, which is focused on acquiring new customers. And with that, you know that it's gonna be a longer acquisition window because you're introducing a product rather than putting your ads in front of people who are completing searches who want your products right now. So you can see from those examples that this is why it's really, really important that you start asking these questions because that then allows you to create the correct campaign structure and use the correct type of campaigns so that you're not just setting up a new campaign, trialing it for a month, turning it off and then trialing another campaign. And that leads us into the third and important question is that what does success in Google Ads look like for your business? And the reason why it's important to really ask this question about what does success look like for your business? Because remember when we're talking about before about the different types of businesses. So for example, if you're an e-commerce business and you've got a new product, if that new product doesn't have much of a search history and you're having to introduce your product and really build up those reasons and educate your potential clients for why they even need your product, that's gonna take time. So it may take up to six months before you break even. Versus if you're in a high volume traffic niche, so a product or service which already has an established market, you may be able to break even after that first 60 days, but then from there, it's about optimizing and reviewing your strategy and your campaign so that you can then increase your ROAS or lower those customer acquisition costs. And this is the point where I see a lot of digital agencies and freelancers fall down, especially when they're managing Google Ads for other clients. And the issue is, is that they don't set the correct expectations. So they take on a client, and the client thinks that Google Ads is gonna magically solve all of their problems. Whereas remember what we're saying in point one, Google Ads is just magnifying the current issues that they already have in their business. That's why it's highly important that you go through these three questions, answering those questions, so that you can then put together the correct plan. And let me show you a perfect example of this. 
Now this account, which I'm about to show you, was for a new client that we signed on. And while they had a product that was selling, Google Ads wasn't working for them. And we were able to get down to the reasons for that. But then we're really, really clear that even when we start this new strategy, it is going to take time until you see success with Google Ads. So you can see from here is that, you know, they had a quick little bump of sales, but then for the next four weeks, they were actually losing money on Google Ads. So you can see here after that little bump in the first week, they spent $1,000 for, for no sales or only $12 worth of sales. Then the next week, they spent another $1,000 and they just broke even at $1,141. Then they had, a, once again, $1,000. This time it went up to $1,350. So yes, it's breaking even on Google Ads, but by the time they factor in cost of goods sold, they're still losing money. Even here, when they got a little bit better up at $1,765 for a $1,325 spend. And it wasn't until that week after that. So one, two, three, four. And then at that fifth week, we started to see those results walk in with some really, really solid results where for a spend of 1,283, they got back over $5,600 in sales with a ROAS of 4.38. Still needs to be improved, but that's a perfect example to show you that quite often Google Ads doesn't provide amazing results on the first day. So remember, if you're about to start a Google Ads campaign, I want you to go through and answer those three really, really important questions so that you not only have clear expectations of what Google Ads can achieve for your business or your client's business, but so that you also know the correct type of campaigns and the correct type of conversion actions you need to be targeting. So whether you wanna be generating phone calls or form inquiries or direct product sales. And then finally, you've also clarified what success looks like and especially what success looks like for you over those first 60 days or three months or six months. Now, what I wanna do is to help you further that regardless of what you're wanting to achieve with Google Ads, the one thing that you do need is that you need a strategy in how you're gonna optimize your campaigns. And what I mean by that is that you know exactly what you're gonna be optimizing in your Google Ads campaigns every single week, month, and every 90 days. So that's why I put together my Google Ads checklists. And I've got my Google Ads checklist, which is for search campaigns. And we've also got my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist, which is perfect for performance max and shopping campaigns. And if you wanna get a copy of these Google Ads optimization checklists, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. As I said, my name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And if you wanna make sure that your Google Ads campaigns are set up correctly, especially your Performance Max campaigns, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Or if you wanna make sure that you've got your search campaigns set up correctly, go through and watch this video right here. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.